B-Roll, 19-0, 11 KOs. Uh, Canelo, uh, they're the same age, by the way. B-Roll, like mm -hmm. I stated, he made his pro debut in 2014. Canelo made his debut in 2005, 15 years old. Damn. He now has 60 fights, 57, one loss, two draws, 39 KOs. He has more knockouts than most guys have wins. Um, in his last five fights, he's faced Kayla Plant, Billy Joe Saunders, Abney Yildirim, Caleb Smith, Sergey Kovalev. Four out of those guys, he stopped. Um, B-Bowl in his last five fights, Umar Salamanov, Craig Richards, Lenin Castillo, Joe Smith Jr., and John Pascal. All unanimous decisions. Um, with that being said, I, I think I'm taking Canelo uh, by unanimous decision. However, mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't be shocked at a knockout. Uh, no disrespect to Bevo at all. I just think that Canelo is one of the best finishers in the game right now. He has that killer instinct. I can't remember one guy who was hurt by Canelo and survived. Yeah. I mean, na name a guy who Canelo has rocked and, and they went all 12 rounds. You know, Callum Smith took a beating for 12 rounds, but he was never, mm -hmm. you know, doing the stanky leg out there. Anytime those <laughs> legs wobble a little bit, it's a wrap. And if if yeah. Canelo can catch you, nines out of ten, nine times out of ten, he he will, he will catch you. Let's see how Bebo takes it. So I wouldn't be surprised if there's a knockout. But but my my official prediction is this guy, Saul Canelo Alvarez, uh, unanimous decision. Okay, okay, I like I like that. Um, I like what 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 uh, Big Bro said. He he he, and you guys you guys stated that uh. That Bebo doesn't take as, as you know he's more methodical when it comes to his uh, approach to uh to to winning you know not a lot of chances he gives to get hurt um so I can see what I can see how he could go the distance and that's that was leaning towards that you know up until this week but um like you just mentioned uh Canelo's one of the one of the best finishers in the game I want to uh, obviously Errol Spence is up there I want to say Terrence but Crawford is up there and there's, there's a few more but um. <laughs> Yeah, I think I just don't, based don't on you like ever his mention don't you ever mention those two guys alongside Canelo. Man. <laughs> Stop it. Stop the disrespect based here. On, based on Canelo's previous opponents, he's just been beating, you know, breaking down guys, Billy Joe, Killer Plan, uh, and obviously the overmatch uh yielded him. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say that Canelo keeps it going, man. It's 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 May fifth weekend. Uh I think it's gonna be a, ru a ruckus crowd that's gonna just, you know, he's gonna wanna deliver that knock. And I think he's gonna hurt Bevel in the late rounds. And fuck, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say he's gonna get a stoppage. So I'm gonna say Canelo by 11th round TKO. And I'm gonna I'm gonna say that Bevel 11. is gonna give a really really good uh, competitive matchup until that moment. He stopped Kovalev in the 11th. It, it took him a while, yeah. but once he heard him, it, that was that was it. Uh, let, let's yeah. see how Bevel can take the power, man. I'm excited. I'm excited.